on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on. You guys got to hit it one more time. Come on. Hello, and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. Today, we are continuing where we left off in the last episode. We are now on episode 11, The Coal Route. So, without further ado, let us begin. Here we are. Let's get in here. Better pass. Outlander, Chief Akaro and Marshal Katalo await you within. The cool route should be starting soon. Once it's done, I'll be able to access the chamber below Hikaro's throne. And ether. Outlander. The chief awaits you in the arena, past the throne. Okay. This must lead to the arena. Another part of the ruins turned into a fighting ring. Look at them all. Will Katalo. she likes. This could be useful. Nice. Let's speak to Hakoro. Hakaro, sorry. Aloy. Hey, it seems you've had to move mountains to bring the Sky Clan to heal. Literally. Katalo helped. Yes. Takote reprimanded for all the clan to see. You both served well. But now the cool route is at hand. Some have come to compete, others to bear witness. They know Regala will come for me. I'll do whatever it takes to hold up my end, as long as you remember yours. So what's the plan? Katalo. There are only two viable ways to attack the arena. Through the throne room you just passed, and by the trail on the north end. We've set up barricades at both. But if Regala means to assault the cool route with machines, she will have to attack by the trail. You will join our defenders there. Hold the line, and I'll have my marshals. You will be free of my service and receive your reward. Make whatever preparations you must. Once the cool route begins, you must see it through. Okay. The arena. The grove, the arena, it's all part of the same ancient structure? Yes. Here the land remembers the sacrifice of the Ten. Their deeds commemorated for eternity. Sacrifice. The visions tell us that on the ground below, they gave their lives in a fight against machines. We honored them by holding the cool route where they fell. Okay. The cool route? What exactly is the cool route? Where once the clans fought each other, now we fight as one against the machines. That is my law made manifest in the cool route. Each clan must send contestants whenever I call for the ritual. These challengers face trial by combat against machines in this arena. Those who distinguish themselves become marshals who bind the tribe together as peacekeepers. Peacekeepers? You called them peacekeepers, but the marshals I met at the embassy were warriors. Warriors, yes but more. They renounce the clan that birthed them and pledge themselves to order and peace. They enforce my law. They settle disputes and stand for Tanakh in parlay with other tribes. Without them, I cannot rule. 
Where will you be? I know where I'll be. What about you two? I will be here with the Chief, where I belong. Should the fight reach us, we will take the blood owed for our fallen. If it comes to that, the defenses will hold. All right, let's get started. Let's get this over with. Good. You'll find Decca at the north barricade with the rest of our defenders. Strike true as the ten. I'll see you when this is done. Excellent. So now we go to the north barricade, which is that way. Let's uh, resupply. Excellent. Only question is when. Uh, weapon upgrades. Let's see this one. Excellent. Anything else? No. Outfit upgrades. Ooh, and this is a purple one. Ooh, to not Marshall. Nice. So let's, uh, this outfit we're wearing this one this has 10 on the melee 17 17 on the melee 13 on that this is good against fire and breeze We have an empty slot, so let's use a weave. Um, interesting. Go ahead and throw the melee defense on there. Then we'll equip that. Yeah. I think we're all good. The battle's coming. This is a ceremony. Feel it in the air, not mere entertainment. This is where we'll make our more than courage. Courage. Skill and courage. We won't let Regala take the growth. That lowlander contestant has already passed their best. Thank you, Sir. Okay. Of course. Look, Chief's champ, Easterner. Didn't think the Sky Commander himself would be joining us today. <laughs> if there's a chance my challengers will be facing Regala, it is only right their commander join in their fate. Or maybe you need to save face after what happened at the Bulwark. Careful now. Sometimes sharp wits bring out sharp spears. I'd save my spear for Regala's troops, if I were you. Might actually have a chance with her. Okay. Honor and 
I guess we gotta go that way. Okay. The Karo's defenders should be at the end of this trench. And look, we are not alone in this fight. That's easy. Focus on the machines. Take them down, and Regala's forces become no different from our own. Yes, Chaplain. Watch each other's backs. Dismissed. Our soldiers are ready. They will defend the cool route from below, or from above. Not bad. Where did you get it? One of our squads ripped it off a fallen machine. The honor is yours. Regala may have her tricks, but you will show her our teeth. Sounds good. The cool root is upon us! Our struggle demands new blood! New leaders! Release the quarry! Challengers! Approach! Take down a machine shall be named Marshall. Remember the ten. Strike from the air as they did and seize your glory. to have some fun. Hold them back. Defend the cool route. on the side where ah here we go oh. 
Oof. Guarantee that's only the first round. There. What is that? I don't know. Hold the defenses. Go. Gracious. Shots from that ballista. 
its attention. I don't know what I just did, but hopefully it works. Nope. Totally missed. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on. Uh, 
You guys got to hit it one more time. Come on. Get her. <laughs> this isn't finished. I'll be back with everything I have. And all who stand with Akaro will be run red. At attention. You fought well. Proved yourself against enemies both metal and flesh. I name you all, Marshal. Your first order is to secure the arena from any remaining rebels. Go. I failed. I should have finished Regala. But now she'll be back with more machines. Stronger than ever. I'll do what I can to help. No, you've done enough. Far more than our bargain called for. When we first met, you spoke of your true mission on which all depends. I wasn't certain if I believed you then. But I believe in you now. So leave me. And get to your task. What will you do? Tend to the wounds. What you need is there. Take it. Your deeds today will be remembered like those of the tent. Why, thank you, good sir. This is it. Ether's below.
What was this place? There. That console. Come on, Aether. Time to go home. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring Aether's subordinate function to original code. Get this back to Gaia. Can we search down here first? The vision of the world has changed. The words of the pen are now clear to us. Here, this must be the vision that Chief Akaro saw years ago. All of the visions are changed, and this one just arrived. Okay, well, it is telling me to go up. Aloy, here. Let's talk. I'm going to come there as soon as I remember how to do so. Please, Aloy. Come here. Is it here? Aloy, here. Let's talk. I am trying to remember that way. Oh, I got down. Right there. Visions throughout the grove are different now. And this one, it, it just appeared. Is this your doing? Visions have changed. That's the one that inspired Chief Hakaro. More testimony of the old ones. Hear now the words that reunited a people. Following the tragic events of the war, Anne Faraday, the chief architect of the reconciliation effort, addressed a nation in need of hope. If we look into the future, the lens of the recent past, our fears loom. Wars waged against machines, scarcity of food and water, Storms that drive us from our homes. But true courage means facing those fears with conviction instead of cynicism. Leading the peacekeeping effort with these brave men and women, these marshals of the new Southwest has strengthened my conviction. That when we are united, we can overcome any threat. Join me. Join us in that conviction. As we strive for a nation and a world without want or war. Reporting for duty, Commander. I'm coming with you. But Hikaru needs you. Because of you, he has new marshals. And a rallying cry the clans cannot ignore. 
So I will stand with you on your mission. Give whatever is left of my life. It is what I choose. How can I say no to that? So, there's someone who wants to join us. I need you to meet him in the foothills and guide him the rest of the way. Will do, Aloy. Go to the mountains, west of Plainsong. A friend of mine will meet you on the ascent. I'll join you when I can. A friend of yours? Should be interesting. <laughs> yes. You shall. Let us hope All the right. new marshal also to get Ether back to Gaia. Seems like capturing it did something to the other holograms too. Might be worth checking out. Okay. Did I not change my outfit? I thought so. Is it? Question. There we go. There we go. Now she looks like it. All right. Let's go ahead and. I know where my loyalties lie, but you've got to admit it's an impressive team. Get out of here. Blood of the Ten, Aloy. Regala denied. The truth of the visions revealed. I doubt you have enough skin to mark all your deeds. We'll just have to remember them then. <laughs> well, thanks to you, the chief still lives. And hope remains. But that's not why I wanted to speak with you. I need a favor. A personal one. My grandson, Kavo. He was not counted among the dead, which means he must still be with Regala's remaining forces. He was taken prisoner? No. He joined them willingly. Like many young soldiers who seek to mark their skin with distinguished deeds. <laughs> I must search for him. Convince him to come home. Chief Hikaru cannot spare any soldiers for this task, so my blade is alone in this. Unless you'd be willing to join me. I know it is much to ask after all you've done for us. But Kavo is the last of my blood. Uh, finding your grandson. You find your grandson, if I can. Where do we start? A while back, our scouts reported Kavo's squad left one of Regala's outposts in the hills to the south. His squad never returned, but the scouts also spotted one of our own being held captive there. So we'll start at the outpost. If we free the prisoner, maybe they'll know where Kevo's squad went. Shall we head out? Uh, I'll meet you there. I have some other things to take care of first. I can meet you there. I'll wait for you on the hill crest southeast of the grove. We'll make our way to the outpost from there. Until then, strike true. Blood for blood. All right. Looks like there's another mission over there. Grab that. But we need to get back. That is a long way to go, so maybe we can fast travel. Excellent. Here we are. Okay. 
base. Yeah, like this? Oh, uh, you're not waving a hammer around, Aaron. Try a gentler touch. And yeah, my big sausage fingers don't really do gentle, okay? Bring it back. Trace the line. To your right. Other right. I just saw it. It's the one Aloy found up north. Gotcha. They call it a, a concussion beat party or something. Yeah, now that's music. <laughs> Aloy. Erend, you're all better. And you're here. Well, the world only goes on if you can do your thing. We learn fast enough, we help make that happen. You want all the backup you can get, right? We still have much training to do, of course. One does not become hunter in a day. Each seed grows at a pace of its own. Doesn't mean it won't bloom. You should know your Tanakh friend arrived. Katalo. I heard their warriors drink people's blood. I want to sleep with one eye open. I think he's seen enough blood for a lifetime. I showed him to one of the rooms. He seems to appreciate the privacy. Uh, looks like you've got things under control. I should get this to Gaia. Right. We'll keep on training. Catch up as fast as we can. I see glyphs in my dreams already. Well, <laughs> while you've been off gallivanting around, I've been working with Gaia to find out more about the land gods. So, from where I'm standing, you're in need of some training. Come along. Uh... Oh, uh... Okay. <laughs> oh, and I delivered your message to Talana. She headed for that Asaram camp you two were looking for, to the southwest. Did you know there used to be a rainforest so big the old ones called it the lungs of the planet? That sounds lovely. <laughs> yeah. They burned it to the ground at some point. We'll talk to them after we take care of this. Welcome back, Aloy. When you're ready, please merge Ether with me. Afterwards, I must discuss an important matter with you. Okay, merging now. So, what did you want to discuss? While you were away, I received an unusual transmission on my dedicated Aluthia frequency. Aluthia? That's one of the subfunctions you couldn't detect before. Yes. The transmission occurred so slowly that at first it seemed like an accidental blip of data amongst background static. Once I noticed this irregularity, it took some time to collate the complete message. Where does it lead? To a mountain to the northwest of this facility. A word of caution, Aloy. It is possible this transmission is genuine. It is also possible it is being broadcast by someone or something else. You don't think it's actually Aluthia? I am uncertain. What's SOS? It is an old world code. A distress signal. A desperate plea for help. Aluthia? Why would Aluthia send a coded transmission on a frequency only the two of you can communicate on? I believe it was done as a precaution to avoid detection. Or at least to create the appearance of the desire to do so. I am also uncertain why Eluthia would expect that I would be able to detect and respond to its distress signal at all. As far as it is aware, I no longer function. Okay, so 
Either Aluthia is in trouble and sent the message hoping you were out there, or someone else is trying to get us to go to these coordinates, pretending to be Aluthia. That is my conclusion as well. Could it be Zeniths? Could the Zeniths be sending the transmission? According to the data I reviewed on your focus, the Zeniths recovered the other Gaia root kernel in the Hades Proving Lab. It is feasible they used it to gain access to my internal frequencies. So, maybe they sent it thinking you'd respond and reveal your location. Possibly. However, the transmission is highly irregular. If they intended to provoke me into revealing myself, I would expect the communication to be more routine. Right. So maybe it's not them then. So about the transmission? You said the coordinates lead to a mountain to the northwest. What's there? I have no record of anything of note in that vicinity. Okay. And what about the other number in the message? 237. Any idea what that means? I have queried my available databases, but it does not appear to have any significance. Perhaps its meaning can only be understood at the indicated coordinates. I'll investigate. All right. I'll go to the coordinates and check out the source of the transmission. All by yourself? Ha! No way. I included Erend and Varl in this briefing via their focuses. I concur that you should not investigate this alone. What if it's a trap? Of course it could be a trap. But if it really is Eleuthia, then it's in trouble, and I need to bring it back. Don't worry. I'll be careful and- We're coming with you. <sighs> Fine. Go grab your things. <laughs> we'll wait for you at the west exit, in case you need to upgrade your gear. If only do. But that completes our mission. New main quest, Cradle of Echoes. Excellent. Well, everyone, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. If you're new around here, please subscribe. And until next time, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.